Hi, I'm Joe Blizzard. I'm a STEM teacher at Roper Mountain Science Center. And I want to talk to you today about a certain type of energy called infrared energy. Infrared energy is a form of energy that um, doesn't require um, matter to move through. It can move through empty space. It can move through matter, but it doesn't require it. Um, and that means it's an electromagnetic energy. And there are seven main types of electromagnetic energy. And right in the middle, so it's a, it's a spectrum, they all have different wavelengths. And right in the middle is visible light. So everything we can see, all the colors you can see, the fact you can see the screen right here, um, you can see me right now, that is because it's visible light. It's that middle bit of the electromagnetic spectrum. And infrared is on just the lower energy side of visible light. Um, as a matter of fact, it's on the other side of red. That's why it gets the name infrared. So red is the lowest, um, it's the lowest energy color of the visible light spectrum. So visible light has a spectrum um, from violet is the highest energy. Red is the lowest energy and it's the colors of the rainbow, Ro Roy G. Biv, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Um, some people don't use indigo anymore. Some people still learn that. And what it is is so infrared is on the lower side of that spectrum of the visible light spectrum. It's on the other side and the low end. So red and then infrared. So we can't see infrared energy, but we it's all around us. We use it in a lot of devices that we use. This might look familiar to you. This is a remote control from my TV and it uses infrared energy. So when you aim it at the TV, you turn it on, um, it sends electromagnetic, electromagnetic energy out, the infrared energy out, and it's received. There's a sensor on the TV that picks that up and it uses that to know how to turn on the TV, change channels, things like that. What you didn't know though, is even though you can't see it, you can look at it. There is a little, if you've ever looked inside, I don't know if I can get this on here, there's a little bulb in there. And you, if you press the button looking at it, you don't see anything happening. But cameras, um, so our eyes can't pick up infrared energy, but um, cameras like on your cell phone can. And I'm shooting this with a cell phone, so I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to aim this right at the phone here, and you can see there's a little flash. Now, if I were to look at that, I don't see it, but when you look in the camera, you actually see the infrared energy because it's picked up by the camera. It's pretty cool, right? So today I want you to, I want to um, show you an experiment you can do with this idea. All right, so if you take um, a black trash bag, so a dark colored trash bag, and you open it up, so let me find where it opens, had it earlier, uh, right here, and you just want to have one layer of, take a remote, you want one layer of the trash bag over it, and then what, what I want you to do is you aim it at your TV and see if it will turn it on. And then if you have a camera you can use, you can aim it at the camera and you can see if you can still see the bulb light up. And you can, and this will still turn on the light. Um, I mean, not turn on the light, but it will turn on the television. Then what you do is you take and have two layers and you see if you can turn on your TV and see if you can still see it. I don't know if I can get this, the room's not dark enough, but you can still kind of see it. And what I want you to do, what your experiment is, see how many layers of the trash bag that it takes to where you can no longer see the light and you can no longer turn on the TV. And also, what you can do is see if there's a difference between those. So, can you still see the light but it not turn on the TV or can you still turn on the TV and not see the light through your camera anymore? And once you have those results, you can share them with us on um, social media. You can get um, uh, someone in your family to help you with that. But um, you share and hashtag Roper Mountain and share your results to the Infrared Energy Challenge, Remotely Controlled Challenge. And then there's an extension for this because that won't take very long to do this. You can try different materials and see what effect the movement of the energy off it. Just like visible light can be reflected, absorbed, transmitted through different things, so can infrared energy. All of the electromagnetic energies can. So see what happens if you aim this at a mirror that you can see the TV in and can you still turn on the TV? What happens if you try to go through um, uh, aluminum foil 
or wax paper. Try different materials and see what the results are uh, when you're using the TV remote and then maybe shoot a little video and tell us what you've discovered. And you can, again, on social media, it's hashtag Roper Mountain, all one word, and um, let us know what you have figured out and what you've been able to explore and discover through doing this. And then one more extension that you can do with this is you can actually use other remotes. I'm not going to try all these because I want you to try this. this is our Roku streaming tele streaming device remote. I've got a DVD remote here. You can whatever remotes you have in your house. See what happens when you look at them through the camera and try the experiment with all of those as well. And again, share with us what you've discovered because we really want to see what you're learning while you're at home. All right. So yeah, I'm excited to see what you all come up with and what you're able to, to find out through this. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.